Hi, in this video I'll show you how to add affiliate links onto your blog so you can make more money on your WordPress site. So let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Talisa from WP Hub. In our previous video, I shared with you how to add an affiliate disclaimer page onto your WordPress site. Now it's time to show you how to add affiliate links onto your WordPress site. Affiliate marketing is by far the most popular way to make money on your blog. This also means that your competition is tied too. Tons of articles are published every day to target the same products you are trying to sell. So one way to make your blog stand out is to embed affiliate links the right way. So in this video, I'll walk you through how you can add affiliate links on your sales page. And you can easily make that affiliate commission. The Amazon Affiliate Program. When starting affiliate marketing, joining the Amazon Affiliate Program is a great start. As a content creator and blogger, using Amazon is going to give you a great start because users trust the platform and there's a huge variety of products that you can review. In this video, I'll show you how to embed affiliate links both as anchor text and an image embedding right from Amazon. So you shouldn't find new images for your product reviews. Before we continue, make sure you like and subscribe onto our channel so we can create more videos like these. Embedding Amazon links as an image. Here's an article I wrote about the basic equipment you need when starting a YouTube channel. When scrolling down, you'll see that I have a few suggested equipment to buy with the images underneath it. When clicking onto the image, you will see that it links straight to the Amazon page. Now let me show how you can add an Amazon affiliate link so that it can appear as an image onto your website or blog. So here's the blog post I created. And here is the image that links to the Amazon page. So to do this, all you need to do is, we're gonna first delete this. And we're gonna to go to the Amazon page. What we'll do is we'll click onto the image. We copy and paste the link that comes there and make sure that the image is on large for a good quality. We go back to our blog post. And what you do is you say, add media, you say insert from URL. You still keep the HTTP forward slash and you just paste your link. Once you're done, you say insert into post and you will see that the image has been inserted. To remove the HTTP, all you do is click back. And if you want to make the image a little bit bigger, all you do is pull the corners and if you would like to add an alt text, such as the Canon Mark 2, for example, and this is an M50 camera. You write it over there, as well as pasting it as the image title attribute. And all you do is say update. Now, when you click on preview, you will see that the camera is over there. And once you click onto it, you will see that it will lead you to the Amazon page immediately. And that's how you embed links as images. Embedding Amazon links as anchor text. Okay, so let's say now you want to embed an anchor text onto your article. So now if you see here the lapel, Mike has no name or any form of uh, text linking to it compared to the Canon. So what you do is you go back to your blog and you can write lapel mic, for example, or microphone. Then what we do is we highlight the text and then we click onto the link or edit link or the inserts. We go to the article where it has the lapel mic that you want. You click on text. And over here, you can choose whether to use the short text or the full text, but I always go for the full text. You copy and paste. You go back to the article. You paste the link and you say apply with that arrow. And now when you click on to preview, you will see that the lapel microphone is there. And when you click on to lapel microphone, it leads you straight to the Amazon affiliate page. And that's how you embed Amazon links as an anchor text. Amazon is strict on sites that aren't showing that they're gaining commission from each product referral. And you don't want to risk losing your affiliate commission. So make sure you are staying transparent with your readers. 
If you haven't done an affiliate disclaimer page already, check out our description below to get a free Amazon disclosure template. That's all for the video. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please leave us a comment below and read our full blog on wphub.com for more WordPress tips. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.